50% off ornaments and ornament sets. Wow. Okay. So I drove to Nashville. So I'm going to do a little antiquing with you all. I think I'm going to go ahead and check out Pickers before I go into 66 Unique Antiques. Because Pickers is a little bit um, smaller. And I got a parking space that's close. It is a nice fall morning. It's about 7 degrees. That's like the perfect weather. Um, I just didn't feel like doing any stopping and going of estate sales or Goodwills today. I'm like, I'm just going to go antiquing where I can just browse around and look to see what people have in their booths that I can either flip and sell for a profit or if I can imagine that they, I can do a little something to make it a little bit better and then get it to sell or decorate my own home with it. So let's go antiquing. Of course, my meaning to come in here is if <laughs> she brought in any more Halloween but she was going to be gone she told me till October so I did have to come and look though oh it's a black kitty cat a little paper lantern for five dollars this little orange enamel wears enamel is interesting Salt and pepper Budweiser. I don't really think that's Chris's jam, but Let's see what's in the primitive booth. Oh, it may not be my lucky day. <laughs> the witch is cute though. I can't see her face. She's hiding. She used 48. Mm -hmm. This is still here. You know, if it was jadeite custard, that would be glowy. I would do that. Oh, those are cute. And there's a little salt. Hmm. Yeah. 14. I wonder if that glows. Nope, oh, just depression. It does not glow. Pretty cool, though. Ooh, I don't know if any of mine are that, that going to be in that good of shape. That's for sure. That one, too. That's still up here. I still like it. Still wish it was red. Hmm. Don't know if I've seen that pattern. Town and country? Probably a magic eraser would take that out, but I, I can't say I've ever seen that pattern. Ooh, that is this massive piece of glass. I don't know what it is about these numbers. I love them that they stick out. And there's two of them. There's a 10, and then and there's the 7, and then somebody's house number. Oh, there's a one also. I don't know. I don't know what you'd do with them. If you had the right numbers, I guess. I like them though. So we got some Christmas booths set up down here now. Ooh, yeah, you know I, you know I like that. Got some glass little candy cane ornaments. Some bulbs because I need no more bulbs right now. Oh that one's a hundred dollars on this. It's missing all its bulbs though. And I need to light bulb. Oh, he's got some age to him. Santa vintage Santa blow mold. He is 20. I like his age. I like that he's not so pristine white. But I did see this little grouping that has the elf on it. And I know I only have one little elf, so... Oh, do I need more bulbs? Maybe. And then what's over here? Santa sleigh. This guy's missing his antler. And then this is... One on the little candy holders, five dollars. Seems like a great price on that. Oh, those blue trees are beautiful. Looking for price. 
Oh, I don't see a price. Shoot, I like the blue though. Got some, I got a blue kitty cat up here. $8, blue kitty paperweight. Maybe made in China. I don't know, I don't know how to tell paperweight. And then there's this moose. He's $10, he's funny. Look at him. So not an awful lot had changed in there because I was just here a couple weeks ago. There was, the basement had changed. Um, so it had that Christmas stuff in there because you know, I needed more Christmas. <laughs> I needed more Christmas. And then yeah, she told me that the lady wasn't going to be back with the Halloween stuff until the 1st of October, but I could wish that she came in before her vacation <laughs> stopped. So no Halloween. So let's go into 66 Unique Antiques and see what is there. Hopefully a little bit more treasures. Antiques, yes please. <laughs> okay, here we go. On a very busy road, but that's okay. Ooh, look at that beauty. Pink, is it pink? Pink with birds. $89. That's a great price. Way pretty. So I decided to start upstairs today, change my little route that I usually normally do. You know, we're kind of creatures of habit. I'm like, I'm going to go upstairs this time and see what they have. Look at these cute little clay things, little bowl fillers, salt dough. Pumpkins and leaves. Those are cute. Oh, yeah. Got a little bit more Halloween and fall going in here. Oh, the turkey. The turkey is funny. Just, yeah, he's a hobbyist piece. $9. He's pretty cool. I saw in my video that's where the mushroom thingy was that I forgot the cutting board last time. <gasps> She's got a clock though and I hear it ticking. Oh, I must. $13? Oh my gosh, that is a great deal. Mushrooms do well for me. Mushrooms 20% off too. Ooh. Makes you want to relook. Yeah, we're into the fall season. How fun. <laughs> Little turkey plate. Candy corn. I feel like these might have been here last time. A little candy corn. A little Halloween Pez. <laughs> That's funny. That's a pretty color. Could use that for a tablecloth. A little table runner. Oh, these are some nice little pumpkins. Eight dollars on those. A little bit more to look at in here today. So I had to already carry a few pieces downstairs. I'm sure you can guess what they might have been. Only made it, <laughs> only made it into two booths. So, okay, let's look around some more. Hello, black kitty. What here does he say? Nineteen. He is seven dollars. I don't care for the. Um, the collar on him though, the little bow tie. But I like that it has some age to him. Look at these little guys. So much detail. Oh, they're tipsy. That's why they were leaning against there, because they're a little bit on the tipsy side. <laughs> Very cute. These are some interesting head pieces. Vintage mold, hand painted. $100. Oh, interesting. Okay, this is where I bought the tin tinsel tree last time I was here. Let's see what ornaments she has. Let's see if she has. Okay, these are those are light boxes though, not like bulb boxes. I'm looking for more bulb boxes. Um, I don't need any tiny bulbs. Got a little skier. It's cute. Assorted shiny brights. 
$50 for that set. And then the box and them are in good shape. Look at the, the shape of these. So $50 as is on those. Uh, this, these little ones. $10, $10, $8, all depends on what they are. I have to take a peek. What if she has more boxes underneath here that she did? <laughs> no, she doesn't. I tried. Oh, these beautifuls are still here. That green is just amazing. Oh, there's no glow to it. It's just amazing. And then these little bottles, $5 a piece. Little mini bottles. They are good sellers. I don't, mm, I might do three on mine. Usually depends on what you pay for them, though. Those are retro chairs. <laughs> they don't, I don't know if they're comfortable or not. $120 on the set of four. Hmm. Okay, Halloween right here. Look at this hobbyist piece. Three dollars. <laughs> but oh my gosh, that's funny. Very funny. This mold back here. It is a chicken. Huh. How much is it? Ten dollars. Rooster candy mold. I feel like it has a little bit of age and that should be worth more than $10. That's pretty cool. Oh, this is the booth where I got the goldfish for Becca at. They brought a whole bunch of more ornaments out. Oh, they're blowfishes. Oh my god. I don't know if the blowfish would be as cool as the <laughs> as the goldfish. Oh, look at that little deer in there. Nicely packaged. Let's see what we have over here. Little little Volkswagen bug. Those shiny brights are only ten dollars a box. Wow, that's a good deal. So ten dollars on shiny brights. Hmm. Fifty percent off ornaments and ornament sets. Wow. Okay. Oh, they have a dead dog. He's not little. By any means, he's $30. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. So colorful. I gotta check out his backside. Look at all that painting on him. Way fun. Look at this magnificent ironstone piece. $40. That's a big, you'd have to have a big area to be able to display that, but it's beautiful. My goodness gracious, is that black cat nesting dolls? $15. Okay, well, I have to see what's in there. Yes, that's exactly what they are. Oh my goodness. I really just want the ones that are just black to do all year long. But yeah, it's so super cute. I always love to look at everybody's Halloween displays. <laughs> that little guy's cute. I always go for the handmade pieces. That's cute. He's cute. I think I saw him last time. Okay, let's go in and see what they have. Oh, they have a little... Little witch votive. Oh, this is the Wizard of Oz witch. Probably I would have thought a Hallmark... Yep, Hallmark ornament. Very cute. How much is this one? Eight dollars on that one, but I they slowed down in selling though, so I'm gonna hold off on that. Let's see if there's anything else. It's a mini one. Mini, minis do good. What is the floral? It's like a floral pattern. Ten dollars. 
38. I think those are not considered mini. It's a little bit bigger. But $8 on those. That beautiful piece. Somebody's going to snag that up. That's so long. That, those fingers are amazing. I know they slowed down right now. But Christmas is coming and people want them to put them on their Christmas list. That one is amazing with those fingers. A cute pumpkin patch sign. How about how much they want for the pumpkin patch sign? $20. Very cute. I, of course, I had Rusty Krusty it, but not at $20. Which are these? $4.50. These glass ones. Oh, yeah. I will pick those up for four fifty. Have a huge alien in, the, in this booth. Okay, hello there, alien. These set caught my eye. Just some. I don't know much about them, but the iridescents. It's black and white or blue and white. Okay, no, blue and white or blue and cream. Yeah, I'm always looking for the black. Especially if it's vintage. A little bit of change arounds in this booth. They kind of closed it off a little bit with the... They put some um, lockers in here, so... That just kind of... A napkin holder. A little owl. This is a Warren Kimball for $5. I don't see it say anything anywhere on there. And then painting the frames, it doesn't usually make a difference. <laughs> this, I don't really understand the Optimus sign for $48, but I think it's a donut. It's the booth I lost out on the, <laughs> the crow last time. We got a decapitated something or other. What? I guess your candy jar might have sat in there. That's funny. I don't know what that little... Yeah, I'm not going to go for any poison to make anything out of. Oh, cute though. Oh, the black kitty's still here. $20. I don't think my cupboard can take big pieces like that. I gotta look for stuff that's small. So another little fall display here. I think it was displayed last time. But this little trinket toy caught my eye, even though it's not quite Halloween Halloween. It does have a witch on it, and it's reduced to five dollars. Hmm, that's a good price. Look at the chicken with the egg. That is cute. I don't know if that's so much in anymore. If people are doing that. This little bucket is still here. Heart, you know my heart. Oh, look at that. I'm looking for a fall wreath. <laughs> oh, that's kind of neat. So I spied this little mu mushroom, and it's actually for, like you would like push it on your garlic to get it to crack and peel. Hmm. So I'll leave it behind since it's a kitchen tool, not just decor. <laughs> that is, that's a fluffy little bird. That is cute. Six dollars. <laughs> He's just funny, though. Funny little piece. He's a little guy. Ceramic Christmas tree, 42. And they have some nice lights in here right now. Let's see. This is where I got my junkyard sign. Fun little pumpkin. So what are these little candlesticks? Oh, they're newer. Made to look old. 13 on that. There's actually another one another one up here. So it's like a little set. But people decorate for Thanksgiving that are having hosting Thanksgiving. Look at those giant eye. Oh my goodness, little eyes are so cute. Twelve dollars. Very cute. And then why we're talking about cuteness for fourteen dollars. <laughs> Oh my gosh, his face. I got some bottle brush trees. I don't I don't know how to tell if how old these are or not. I have no idea. 
I know that the old ones are worth some good money, but I don't know anything about that. Ooh, well, hello, three. Four dollars. Yeah, and then... And then... Oh, come on. And then four dollars. Oh, because do I need any more? Maybe. I might. Are these real? I <laughs> no. thought they were real for a second. Uh, nice displays. Oh, look at this little, little set. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Little kids set. Well, something when it's in season catches your eye. This little orange enamel or pot. If I, can, if I can grab the tag. $30. Oh, there's a black set. I have no idea how much that is. 55 on that set. That's nice. It's a complete set. Are these the little Target ones, the Day of the Dead? <laughs> oh my gosh. So the older ones, those are funny. Spice. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. It's pretty big too. What is this mushroom holder that I see? Seventeen Hay and MC mushroom holder so 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 seventies oh so cute okay let's see what's in here oh, look at all these little shoe these black and white ones oh my gosh those are adorable look at they wore them out <laughs> those are too sweet. Um, oh, the pocket watches, a little oiler, little Scotty dog, four dollars, oh, it's a pin, somebody's moving up here, I noticed that this head was empty the last time it was here, so either somebody's moving in or they're getting a new person, that looks nice. Oh, hello, Black Kitty. Of course, I noticed Black Kitty right off the bat. Eight dollars. But I'm gonna try to do just black, a little bit more vintage if I can. Oh, yes, people have picked through these as they should. At Two dollars a piece. Should I get more? I don't know. Ooh, well, how much are these boards? This is an old cutting table for sewing. This little board is 12. Great size for a checkerboard though. Oh, Christmas stuff, oh, Christmas stuff. Oh, <laughs> oh do they add more butter pads? Like they're like, that's more little, or they're little plates. So I'm not gonna dig through those again. But I will look at these. Oh, what's this one? That one's pretty. Little angel. Nothing popping out on me right at the moment. Oh. This just has that nice primitive vibe. These pumpkins are very cute. 18. They're weighted on the bottom, so they're made nice. And then weighted on the bottom. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What did I find here? Somebody repainted that one and put a pumpkin on it. Hmm. Probably would pass that one, but the other two, since they're vintage at that price, I think is good. Oh, we got Santa. He's so pretty. His face. $40 is a great price. You'd have to have the right place to display him. He's very pretty. That's Santa 10. I like the age. Mrs. Stevens Candies. Oh, very pretty. Oh, 
Oh, here's a little black cat paper mache. Have to check him out. The owl, watch out. <laughs> ah, that's cute. The Christmas story. And oh, this is a newer one. Five dollars. That's a, okay, five dollars. Not a putz, but I'll well, I know I had just been to Nashville not too long ago, but I feel like Nashville, the U unique antique 66, um, that those dealers go out and about and they restock a lot. So I've never, like, even if it's one week later, <laughs> I will, I would definitely go in. So anyway, I went into Pickers first. Um, that one's, you know, of course, not as big, especially with all the signs and the whatnot, but I was kind of hoping that um, the, where I bought the, all the Halloween stuff a few weeks ago was restocked, but she did tell me that she was going on vacation um, and that she wouldn't be back until October, but, you know, I thought, well, maybe. <laughs> you can you can always wish, wish, right? So the only thing I bought today there were these little vintage and it was really because of the little pixie inside. I think these are so super cute. Oh my gosh. They're like tacky, but cute. <laughs> so they were $10 for the set of four. So $2.50 a piece. So that wasn't bad. So then I tried a different route. I'm like, okay. I had seen them post on their Facebook page. If you do not know... Um, 66 Unique Antiques has a Facebook page and then I think he said on Saturdays they will do like a live or our little shout out of what's in um, certain items that catch their eye that day that are in people's booth and then you can say hey yay you know because I think they do ship I think he said he told me that there was somebody um, one of the viewers, whoever, say, give it a shout out if you're this viewer from Alaska that has been ordering stuff from them. So that's really cool. Thank you all for supporting small business. You know, we're all just little small businesses in the world trying to, trying to make it. So I had seen them post this on their Facebook page and it was probably, it wasn't, I think he said Saturdays is when they do it. So it wasn't on Saturday. I don't know how many days later it was. But it was the mushroom clock and I was so super excited one that it was still there and that two it actually works now a lot of times they don't work and the mushroom collectors don't really care so it was $13 with 20% off <laughs> there's definitely profit there that is for sure. So the mushroom lovers are going to love that. Like I had, I've explained to you before, I have a whole little mushroom section in my booth that I, that I tried to keep filled and then filled. And then I hem hawed and I said no. And then I hem hawed and I said no. And then the next thing you know, I go back and I get the other <laughs> mushroom. Um, this was a little bit more. It was 17, but no discount. So... I'll just try to double my price and see how it goes. But I thought it was so, it, it's so cute. <laughs> it's just so cute. Handmade little macro, macrame, is that what it's called? Piece. Uh, and look at how, like, it hugs. It's so cute. So I wasn't, and then I'm like, okay, I'm going to. So, so I did. <laughs> So then I did get, I mean, $10. I haven't looked this up because for some reason today I was having problems having signal. Um, but I thought at least even if it's only 20, there's a profit there. But I don't know. I have not looked it up. I don't know how old this one is. I mean, it seems to have a pretty good seal on it. Um, so, I mean, I know like candle makers need them to have a really big big seal so I just always sell them as decor pieces and where I got the mushroom I did buy the turkey <laughs> now this is just a hobbyist turkey goes right along with that 70s 60 70s mushroom vibe um 
and nine dollars with 20 percent off i was pretty sure that there's some type of profit there because i looked up the comps of what it was selling for on ebay so well worth the investment there so that was awesome i did pick up because i don't know when are you ever going to see them again even if i don't use them this year you know the ombre ones oh <laughs> the ombre ones four bucks a piece so um, and then if they're flattened, you know, you can do the warm water trick that um, brings them back out like that one's got a little flat spot in it. So there's that. So I rather pick them up when I see them because I don't want to, I don't want to have thrift, thrift, thrift regret. And I'm like, and I go to do a project and I'm like, oh, that one would have matched and I don't have it. I don't have it. <laughs> there's that Christmas ornaments. Oh my gosh. So two glass bulbs. Four fifty a piece, and then this booth was um, fifty percent off ornaments. So two twenty five. Oh my gosh! So they must have the mother load of ornaments right now because I got the shiny brights for five dollars. So all ornaments, boxed or sets, were half off. Wow, <laughs> I could not, I could not pass that up. So that is a great, like this is still missing one, but I probably have one in my stash that's similar to that. I did pick up that little, the witch, because I looked her up too when I was in there, um, when I did have signal. It's always so funny when you have signal and you don't have signal and it'll look up. Um, so this was going way more than the $5 it was. So it's two-sided. There's a clown on the back side, so it would have been a game. But these little, like, little cheap toys, I say, let's just go buy the Dollar Tree out and then save them for 25 years. <laughs> I tell you what, that is just crazy. Um, and then that primitive booth that had the Halloween noisemakers, um, 28 and... 25 but it's the holiday right now and they're going for 45 um so yeah and i didn't have any ones with owls on them so and another one i left behind because unfortunately somebody had made that one over um which of course you know has things go that decreases the value of it i did pick up that little butter press and this one has the flower pattern. This was $10. And um, I usually sell them for $24 online. And then I couldn't believe this little sheep was only $5. I know it's a newer one. Um, but, I mean, $5 for a white sheep. Yeah, that's that was way cool. So I'm like, I, yeah, I'm going to get that one. And then the Amberina which it probably glows if I had a glow light on me, but I don't <laughs> at the moment I'm in my living room. So this was $30, 20% off, but as soon as I Googled it, it said it was going for 65 and there's no chips, cracks, flea bites that I can feel. So I'm like, okay, that's a great, that's a great deal. <laughs> um, and then what's my last one? I think this is my last piece is just this kitty cat to go in my, and it's vintage, and that's what I'm kind of looking for, black cats that are a little bit more vintage to put in the green cover that I just did on the Journey channel. If you did not see that, check out my decorating with black cats, glowy jadeite, and marshmallow tins, which sounds like a hot mess, but it, it all went together somehow. So that is what I got when I was in Nashville. Not a huge haul, but a good haul. I'm happy with all the pieces that I picked up. So some of these um, will be on eBay. Some of them will be in my booth. Some of them will be in my own home decor. So check out my eBay <laughs> if you're interested to see if anything made its way there. I, that's the reason I go to mine every week because you just never know. Like when I'm going to stock at Hog Creek and stock my booths, I'm like, my car goes right in because there's four four, five, five antique malls. There's one that I usually isn't open during the week when I stock. Um, but yeah, I'll run in and it's funny because you know, you have your favorite booths, you know where the prices are that you can resell in. So you kind of go into the look or looking for those booths. And then I'm always looking for a new booth 
which I should show you. I should show you that. Oh, yeah. So when I went into the Red Barn, which is um, under new management, and they're trying to make a go, you know, they had they have some times to change. So there was a new booth. Um, I I, could, I did a little bit of footage because I couldn't believe how good the prices were. I got the cutest little Christmas village. It's not a putz, it's not cardboard. They're actually plastic. It, ooh. my lights, my lights fell. Um, so lights go in and I'm assuming in the back. So it all lights up and this was $10. And right now it's still selling for 35 on eBay. I'm sure close to, closer to Christmas, it'll probably change a little bit more. Um, but it seems to all be there, and if the lights don't work, I'm sure we can find a strand that does work for them, but I thought that was a great deal. New, bo new booth alert. <laughs> um, and then there was these two plastic vintage, and it was the pair for $4. So I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'll take those two, because I like actually like to change these out to bubble lights, like the newer bubble lights. Um, you can definitely do that. These are just great accents at that time of the year. Let me, let me just backtrack. Um, so in that same, um, the red barn, I always call it $3, three, yeah, $3 and 50 cents. This cutest little teddy bear. Oh my gosh. I can see putting him in a little vignette. He is so cute. And he's like trying to look like he's a patch patchwork maybe and then for five dollars this cast iron little trinket dish I'm like okay I'll, t I'll take that and then all this came out of the new booth this is a mid-century modern owl ashtray trinket holder this was five dollars those eyes are amazing you, I mean you got the mid-century modern that you're you're touching with and then you've got the um the owl level lovers and then in another booth where i got the trinket bird dish it was one of these little i think somebody spray painted this trying to make it look brass so i might give it a makeover and this one was also five dollars usually i've always picked these up and they've been like a bronze that has that blue blue tint to them and they usually have always sold really well for me there's little candle holders oh i have never seen the box that trick-or-treat cookie cutters comes in is that the graphics is amazing oh my gosh if you have a place to display this beauty i would just i just want to display the box you find another little it's funny what your eye is just drawn to what your eye is drawn to um you know when you find things your, your mind is always searching for like that texture, that size, that, that whatnot, that whatnot of it all. My next one was not in that booth, but it was in a different booth. And it was a Tiffany lamp um, rooster that just needs to be attached better to its base. So it was $18. And usually these go for about 35 to 45. Um, and I know we've worked with that metal before taking that metal off that makes it awkward. Um, or once we finally get it into that metal, that metal's kind of, we had a ceramic tree once that <laughs> had that and then we got it off and then we couldn't get it on. And that's always seems the problem. So it's better just to take it off personally. So there was a whole little boo talking about picking up stuff at the Dollar Tree store. They were all these little, for two bucks a piece, all these little noise makers, little clickers. And that's what I said. You know, someday they're going to be vintage too, just like well, those noise makers I showed earlier. So I think I pick I think I picked them all. <laughs> I'm not hoardy at all, right? No. And then this is a reproduction jadeite bowl made in China. 
But you know, somebody who's just starting their collection or just wants to add to their collection, it's nice to start somewhere. So once you get a collection started, I did that. When I did Ironstone, I would just buy anything that looked like Ironstone. And then as I kept finding the Meekin, then I kind of switched out to my Meekin and then I would sell the other. So, you know, somebody's just happy to have something and it was only $6. So there's definitely a profit there. Um, especially if you can take the tags off lemon oil, um, definitely will make that a big difference. No, there's no maker, no fire king or anything like that. But like I said, you have to start, when you do collections, you have to start somewhere. And then my last piece, and this was from the new booth, was this little cutie, a little green. Um, and it is a leptin, right? Yes, yes, leptin. I thought it was five bucks. <laughs> so I'm like, Okay, I ha I have to stop at this <laughs> this booth more often because that's usually how new booths go. You start off a little bit on the low side, get people interested in buying your stuff, and then you kind of up your prices as you, as you, as you go along. I I totally get that. Been there, done that. So I was pretty <laughs> happy with the find. So again, thank you for going with me. Um, or thank you for seeing my haul that I got at. Um, locally, yeah, like I said, I go in often, probably more often than if I'm, if I'm bored. I don't, I used to do that when I lived in our other house, like when paint was drying, I'd run into Goodwill, but I don't have, the Goodwill's not close to me anymore, so no, I just run into the antique malls that are really only like seven minutes maybe away, so yeah, not, yeah. Anyway, so anyway, thanks for thanks for taking the time to watch the video today. I sure do appreciate it, to each and every one of you. If you're part of our YouTube family, thank you so much. And if you're new and you're checking out the channel for the first time and you're t you want to hear me ramble on some more about all the wonderful treasures I get to go out hunting for, please hit that subscription button along with the notification bell so you don't upload a new video. And we will see you next time, guys, and you can see what I'm up to. Bye!